Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Jay Jeter back to you again with another review. This time I have Mastermind Creations reformatted line R04 Leo Ducks. Yes, finally, we got another piece to this journey that is called their Not Pretty King, which is called Not Called Feral Rex. So, yeah, this box is big. It's about the same size as all the other boxes. Um, yeah, it opens up for a nice window display. You see, bang, got the artwork for Leo Ducks right there. He's a mercenary squadron commander. You see that right there. Up in this uh, window display. There. Oh, got the picture of the pride right there. Besides that, Leo Ducks inside. On the back, he you has your product shots, what he is, what he can do, what he transforms to, and what he combines to make the mighty Phil Rex. And another product shot right there. And got your ones on the bottom. Product shot right there on top. And that's it for the box. And here is the figure he is big he is beefy he is the king of the jungle or uh, Cybertronian wilderness whichever one you want reference to whatever so yeah he's a nice lion mode um very very nice very very big was not expecting him to be this big but he is big and it works sometimes when these figures come out to be real big like this they don't really work that well so yeah he has mad articulation very good for a lion to have so yeah and take you look at the detail on the the face of the lion and everything real nice got the, the teeth and stuff real painted and some silver uh, his mouth does open up it's hard to get it in there so yeah it opens up nice and wide they are silver teeth right there and not very not too sharp and stuff nice gold paint right there his main detailing on his back his back cannons were which are plant are in a um a chrome i don't know it's chrome over black or not you know yeah that's great that's great that's great that's great Ooh, his hind legs, and one thing I must say, um, I don't know, his hind feet look look smaller than his front paws, so that's my little nitpick complaint about that. So yeah, his tail tail does articulate, has a hinge uh, right here. See that or not? Has a hinge right there, so it goes up there, and it has a hinge right here also. So and you can flip it upside down if you want. They have the tail sticking up, whatever. So, yeah, nice detail, nice, nice detail. I like how these um, Farrakhan's are looking, I like the aesthetic on them. So, yeah, he has um, like articulation on that. He gets some paws up and down like that. And on ball joint, you got another hinge right here on the paw, got right in the leg, which is his arm transforms out the side like that this also moves also so you can get have them standing like this too and that the legs straight out like that but I think it looks good like this to give him his lion shoulders and stuff like that more atomically correct for a um, real life lion and um, yeah hind legs do go forward and back and they on a, a ball joint so they do come out a little bit on the side um, this part is on the hinge and stuff. Uh, has some waist rotation, so we'll take, rotate the waist like so. All right, show you the tail. His head has limited articulation to it. Uh, they can get more articulation. I've seen from um, PR review if you uh, disconnect something up in here, but I'm not going to try to do that because I don't want to risk breaking my my figure and stuff so I just go for what I know I'm not a risk taker like that and things are pretty expensive so I'm not gonna do 
certain things with them. Also, um, cannons do move, articulate, and stuff like that, and they do telescopes out like that. And it's usually for prey king mode, so the telescope out that 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 far. Slide it back on in. Put that down. Tabs back in. What have you? Head does rotate left and right, but hinder because of the main and stuff. And the um, cannons hitting against it and stuff like that. Bro. Yeah. So he is cool. He is awesome. I do dig him. Yeah, also in the packaging, he does come with these two swords, which are awesome. I love them. And they also um, he'll combine into the uh, combined weapon for Feral Rex. It's two of them that are both the same, identical. So that he comes with his um, trading card, which is a um, thick plastic card. Got him. Little ducks right there, and you got his stats on the back. I still don't know what cast is. Anyone know what cast means? Um, I probably should just Google it, but <clears throat> let me know in the comments below. So yeah, and he also comes with his instruction manual and slash comic book the instructions are not as good as I would like them to have been. There's some steps on here that are very confusing. And all stuff that they totally do not show you at all, like rotating his waist and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, yeah. And that seems to be a current trend with a lot of third party instructions that they kind of suck. And uh, here's uh, pre with the comic. Um, much detail. But for some reason, this uh, reminds me of a lot like Voltron. I don't know. And the Black Lion and the Castle Alliance right there. It's, can't mind me Voltron. So yeah, it's on the comic and stuff. I'm gonna read through that. I still haven't read through for this comic yet, so I might read that one first, then get on this. So yeah. And it's due for a size comparison. We got his teammate for this right here. I'm just gonna do for this since he's both the same size. So as you can see here, yeah, man, about Leo is bigger than him. There's a lion bigger than a rhino. That's unheard of, but hey, yeah, this is Transformer, so you gotta use your imagination. Or just go with it. Or just stop collecting the hell. So yeah, I ain't the side. He is definitely Leo is definitely longer than Fortis. And everything. So yeah. And you know how big this guy if you already have him. So imagine how yeah, this joint is huge. And for a uh, more recent comparison, we got the Transformers Prime quote Pretty Queen. You want to call him Pretty King? He has the colors though, but so yeah, it's the Voyager class Pretty King, and you can see he uh, pretty much Leo dwarfs this dragon. So yeah, so Leo's about ultra class size figure and stuff like that. So yeah. <clears throat> And just for a ah, G Wiz comparison, we got uh, the G1 Razor Claw. As you can see, much bigger than G1 Razor Claw. And I was about to say, he looks much, much better than G1 Razor Claw, also. So, most of the colors are, are there, you know. You got, you got some red paws, but then, arms are yellow and stuff like that but his arms are right here so so yeah they, they pretty much got the um, colors pretty much what it's supposed to be for the most part and everything which is which is good uh, tail is black this one is the orange and stuff like that so but it's pretty much spot on man I love it I like how it looks and everything so yeah can't wait to see what repo labels brings out on this six I got the repo labels for the first two and then it looked pretty good I really don't get too many repo labels because Repo labels sometimes they try to make it too G1 toy, and sometimes G1 toy stickers don't hold up, especially all them 
this deals with the wiring and stuff like that. I hate that. It looks. It doesn't hold up. It doesn't. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, so he's a big, big, beefy boy. So let's go ahead and get the transformation. I'm gonna go ahead and get him into robot mode from here. So, so what you first you're gonna do is just go ahead and take this off his back. Where's the camera? Take off his back. It's gonna be his shield and the um, crotch plate for Feral Rex. Take that off. Put it aside. Next, we gonna do. We're gonna split. This back section, his tail is gonna fall off. And this comes the hilt for um, Pharaoh Rex. His sword. <clears throat> Undo. First, we're gonna just go ahead and extend the legs out. Put these side skirts up. Extend these legs out like that. And they're pretty stiff. At least on my day off. Then what we're gonna do is take this notch right here. You know pull this out a little bit so this can fit under that so bam like that so and we're going to slot that in right there that groove I pointed out earlier then we're going to bring this foot down we're going to rest right there and this paw going to rest right there like so next with the leg we're going to take this part we're going to slide this down Bring this up, and this back hind part right here is gonna come out, and you just sit it down like so. Next, take the back of the leg. You're gonna pull this out. You're gonna tap, untap this. It's kind of hard to get out. There you go. You're going to rotate it down, and at the same time, rotate this piece so that it goes down like so. And then you get the heel spur for his foot and that's one leg done same thing other side we'll take that bring this down tap this in there and we're gonna slot in right there we're in right nice and easy rotate this paw backwards bring this right there set the paw right there Bring that down, open this up, and sometimes it gets stuck. It doesn't, the back part doesn't come out with the front. Sometimes when you probably gotta use your fingernail, get that out. Bring it down like so, flush it. Back, bring this down, rotate. Like so. Alright, now we got his legs are all done. Alright, now next what we're going to do, we got to take this take this part right here, brings it up to make some clearance. So what we're going to do, we're going to rotate his his lower waist below this, this spinning do that right here. You can see that not black on black. So what we're gonna do is rotate that around. Make sure this thing stays on his back. So rotate that forward around to the, the underbelly. Like so now raise the camera up, it's getting big. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this part right here, we're gonna right bring this down. And it's going to we're going to split it, pull it apart like that. So and this also becomes another piece for his um Feral Rex sword. So yeah. So put that get it like so. Put it to the side. And I'll bring this down right there. And you can see his combined head right there. Hello. And his robot head. Hello. <laughs> So now we're gonna do this arm. So what we're gonna do is they're cool like this. <clears throat> Shoulders are good. So I'll bring this out to get some some room. We're gonna rotate it around like so. Make sure this notch right here is notched in right to that part right there. That stays like that for robot mode. 
uh, you're gonna take his paw, you're gonna rotate it around. No, it was it was it right the first time? No. Yeah, rotate it around so that this tab goes in this hole in the bottom of his paw. So you're gonna put that in right there. Next, what you're gonna do is open this panel, flip his hand out, rotate it around. Close the panel up. So, same thing on the other side. Rotate arm down. Rotate paw. Tab. Open up panel. Hand out. Rotate hand. Close panel. <clears throat> Those are his arms. Arms are all done. Next, what we're going to do is take his lion head and we're going to untap it from the back of his robot head and pull this collar up like so to untap from the back of his head. And you're going to bring it forward like so. And then we're going to get this lion mane. And it's kind of tricky. So take the, the top part first. You're gonna rotate it behind the lower main. You can see this or not. Rotate behind the line, the lower main until it is sitting in right there. Then you take the upper main, a lower main, and rotate it up. So yeah, now it's be behind this part right here. Same thing other side. Hand on the camera, sorry. Alright. Alright, they got that transformed. Now we're gonna bring make sure his head is all the way up. Make sure this head is situated correctly. All right, cool. Now we're gonna make sure this lion neck is in between the two red posts right here, arms, red arms. Then you're going to put it in, and um, when the lion head, make sure you tap it in. It's a little, it's a hole right here. Can you get the light? You can see the little hole right here, and there's a um, peg right there that you tap it into. It doesn't heal in real securely, but it it that's where you're supposed to put it into. So, bam. So yeah, and you got the head right there, and that is Leo Ducks in robot mode. And I must say, he is a big dude. He's big, but he looks good though. Um. One thing about the um, TSC Prairie King, I'm not trying to make it the TSC versus MC thing, but about the, uh, the TSC Prairie King, he's he's big and tall like like this guy, but he doesn't he doesn't look right. I mean, I don't know, but something I figure that that tall, I think he should look a little bit something just off. I guess the maybe it's the lion mane on the TSC one is so flared out still and. It just looks off to me. I don't know. I mean, and plus he had the the closed fisted hands with the peg holes and stuff. I mean, I figured that big shouldn't have clo closed hands like that. It looks kind of like cheapish. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So, I mean, I expect a figure that a smaller figure to have the little the peg holes in the hand, but I figured that big should have shouldn't have should have like the the sculpted open hands with the the peg holes right there like this guy does I would prefer that better more so yeah let's get into articulation this dude he has tons of articulation and let's get the um the, fitness, the molding and sculpting on this guy is is incredible looks good it's not too overly detailed and still but it still looks good you know so so yeah get the the face get the red visor and stuff uh the face plate uh Sculpting the shoulders, the lion head. It looks kind of weird. It sticks out 
on his chest, but you know, what are you gonna do? But yeah, he looks awesome. And for articulation, his head is on a ball joint. He can look up, focus, look down, even though he look at his chest, and go left and right. All oh, left and right. Uh, arms are ratcheted. Move the shoulder right here. Go all the way around, but you gotta flare them out like that. I guess you can't go all the way around because there's a connector, the combiner port right there. But you can rotate them around as a natural person or a robot would rotate them. You can pull the connector port out a little bit to add more articulation or rotation to it. If you choose to um, go out at the shoulder right here, a nice clicky clack ratchet. I bolt fills in the elbow right there. You can get like a double, double bend a little bit right there in the elbow. Um, you can see he um, does rotate the upper bicep. Uh, hands do rotate around 360. Um, let's have waist rotations we saw in the transformation. Oh yeah, this part right here on his butt. You go ahead and fold that up. Just get it out the way. And I can see that this might cause an issue of getting snagged and breaking. So be careful of that. Be mindful. Um, legs do go out on some nice tight ratchets out like that. Down, forward. He also bends at the knee. Doesn't go perfect 90 degrees at the knee, but he does bend the knee. Uh, rotates at the upper thigh. No rotation to lower at the knee. Um, has an extra joint right here. I'm not sure what it's for. It goes out like this. Like he, he broke his leg or something like that. I don't know. I'm not sure what that's for. I can't tell in the combiner mode either. So if anyone know what that joint is for, uh, let me know. And, um, yeah, he does have some um, toe articulation. Go left and right on his toes. And that is about it. And these um, side panels do move up and down or bring them down like that, whatever, what have you. So, uh, hold on, this combined mode head is giving me some issues right now. It's not the lower. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, you got um, you guys the two swords. You can put them in his hand, and they go in um, easier than the other guys' weapons go in their hands. So what you gonna do? Out that, rotate it around like so. Bam. Oh so, yeah, I'm gonna do one at a time right now. So, so yeah, they can feed it either either hand. Yeah, like I said, he has two of them. Put it in hand, whatnot, and he also comes with his. Uh, shield and this thing is a tricky thing to transform because the instructions on it is not very clear so you pretty much gotta figure it out a little bit and it's kind of frustrating figure it out so what you gotta do at the plate put this other plate be separated right here and what you're going to do is open that up like so or we'll take this Rotate it around, then these holes right here are gonna peg in right there, so like so. Then you got this peg right here, and it's gonna go in to either one of his his forearms. So pull them in right so. So yeah, cool. So he is sorted up and shielded up, and he can. He's ready for action and battle. I challenge you to come against my feral rage. Yeah, one other thing he can do, he can you can take these back cannons off and they peg in. I have never have not tried to take them off. Because I'm afraid I might break them. There you go. Let's see, just pull right on out. They're on the same type of um peg as the shield is on. So, what I've seen, you can peg these into his forearms as well because he does not come with a gun. So, you can peg them into his forearms like that and you can give him an arm cannon.
if you want to. It's up to you. So he can blade them out, blade the enemy, and switch his arm and go with a shooting motion. It's up to you what you want to do with that. So yeah, yeah, he has some some options to him and stuff. So that's that's cool. That's very cool. They had to have, didn't have to do that. I appreciate them for for doing that. That's, that's cool and awesome. Cool and awesome on the same the same thing. So I'm just take these weapons off of them real quick. So yeah. Plug this on his forearm. This one come out. Ratchets are nice and good on this guy, so don't worry about that. And here are some size comparisons with his teammate Fortis. And you can see they are pretty much in scale of each other. There's not that much of a size difference, unlike the um, the TFC guys. They have a um, a big height difference between the two, between the um, the main guy, the leader, their razor claw, and their the limb bots and stuff. So he's not towering over them like some children. So they're pretty much almost the same size. And here's another pair comparison with his Lord and Savior Megatron. Again, not too. Towering over him, Razor Claw should not be tower that tall than Megatron, but hey, this works. Here is a G1 Razor Claw. And here's some comparison with some of my upcoming reviews that I'm backlogged on. Here he is with Warden. He's taller than water. And finally, here is him with six shot. And six shot is taller than him as he should be. A few more things before I go into the combined mode. One more size comparison. I got TFC's Silverbolt Blackbird. And they are just about the same height. This guy got way more bulk to him and everything. So, so yeah, he, he, out, he wins the match on that. So, see how they look together. And one more thing, you got this tail that comes with um, Leo Ducks. It, it splits in two. I get the split. There you go. It comes in part, and you can. I'm not sure what these are for. It can be used for in robot mode, but they can store on his back on the some pegs on his his guns. Um, so it's just. Slot him in. Like that. One side holds better than the other one. So, yeah. So you can put the money right there, store those on his back. This thing right here, I don't know where I can store it. I cannot, I cannot find a place for it to store. So. Alright, now let's get into the combined mode, start the transformation for that. So, I'm gonna take these off, put them off to the side, and pretty much transforming him back into robot, or well, beast mode, so, for the most part. So, what you do, feet, put them back up, slide that up, heel spur, rotate it up. T 
tap back in. Up tap. Flip the other side. Bam. You're gonna go for the hands. Take them, rotate them around. Throw it back in. Around, throw it back in. Arm, rotate it back like that. Rotate the paw. You're gonna rotate the paw down so that it is covering up the front end of the. Right there, like so. Next, you're going to <coughs> pull out the. Combiner port. Let's get it out the way for clearance. I'm gonna camera up a little bit. Rotate the arm so it's like that. Then you're going to tab this yellow tab into the hole right there. And at the same time, get this on the side. It's going to tab into this black tab right here. So. Elbow. Tap there and then tap into the side. Pull down. And you got one side done. Same thing, other side. Combine the port out. Rotate arm. Paul. So, pull it in, tab it on the side, there you go. And while we're at it, might as well get this back end, make sure it's out the way. We're gonna rotate the waist around, 80. So I think, is it this side or the other side? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'll leave that. Oop. Keep not rotating around. No, I'll leave the waist the way it is. Waist stays the way it is. I'm sorry. Waist stays the way it is. What you're going to do, you're going to collapse the legs. And he has three um, separate modes of how you can collapse his legs, depending on what kind of height. Height you want this figure to be is how you collapse the legs. This is the smallest size right here. Pull it out a little bit right there, and that's the medium size. And if you got full extent, that's the, the biggest size you can have. Me, I keep it the medium size. I'm cool with that. And one leg seems to be there's no real detent that makes it stop and lock in one place. It just held together by friction. So this leg seems to be looser than this leg for some reason. But <clears throat> it seems to hold up when I got them combined together. But we'll know for sure once I get the, the arms come in and add more weight to them. So get your binder ports right here. You flip them down. Like so. For the legs. And let's put these apart a little bit to get some clearance. Next, you're going to take his um, chest shield, which is going to be the, come the crotch plate for the combined mode. What you're going to do is separate that. Take this down like so. Get this part right here. You can see that? Take that out. Bring it up. Separate. Untab these. Little crotch flaps. Now you're going to pretty much diaper him. So like you're putting a diaper on a baby. So you're gonna put this tab is gonna go into this hole right here. So put that in. And the first time you do it is gonna be real tight. That's what she said. No. There we go. There. Then what you're gonna like diaper it around, go around his bottom, then this piece in the back. You're pretty much going to tap it in right here, just like you would do when you're storing the chest shield for lion mode. Like 
the soap. And these tabs right here, I don't know if you can see that or not. There's two tabs right here. They're going to go to two tabs with holes in his butt. Get in. Maybe not take this out. Oh, I'm sorry, there's no two tabs holding the butt. Um, this right here tabs into his butt. I'm sorry. Take this. I'm gonna tap it into the back, his backside. If I get it to tap in. Rotate it correctly. Get it lined up and tap that in. Sorry about that. Then you put this on there. And it's kind of weird because you got this bar going like that. So it's kind of weird. It shouldn't impede on anything. It shouldn't hinder any movement whatsoever. So that. And you can take these. Bring these down. I ain't see nothing in the instructions about it, but if you want to cover up that yellow, you bring that down. That. Next, what you're going to do is bring the lion head out. Then we're going to extend the mane again. So bring the lower ones down. Now, here, and bring the main, main pieces up to the forefront. Get it. There you go. It kind of get wedged deep in there so yeah trying to pry them out but not too hard you don't want to stress the the little pin joints that it's attached to all right we got the main the main is out and keep that out for right now then next what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this back section right here and it's going to unlock there you go and pull it back you're gonna bring out the combined head uh, get make more clearance take these back cannons and you're gonna bring them angle them down a little bit just to create some room and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this head fixture then you're gonna rotate it around so you're pretty much swapping heads now the combined head is up top and the um, figure head at the bottom then you want to Go ahead and close, bring it back all the way like so, then close this back down. Like so then you're gonna take the lion head and you're going to put it back in position as it was before in robot mode and make sure you tab it in. Right in there, seat it. Take the back cannons, angle them up, and get this little cutout groove right here. It's gonna go right here. Like so, right there. Then you're gonna telescope the, the cannon out, pull it out. Let's see that. Same thing on the other side. Pull it out. Seat it right there. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is your combined mode torso for Prayer King. It looks quite big and beefy. What have you. Looks looks awesome. Great torso mode. Great, great torso mode. And take a good look at that, that head scope on Prayer King. Was pretty accurate to me. So, yeah. And he has a uh, range of motion uh, up and down. I uh, can look left and right a little bit, but hindered by the uh, antennae and other parts on him.
So yeah. Uh, it has waist rotation, but it's going to be uh, rotating at a different spot than at the single at the Leo Ducks would rotate at. So rotate like so. And he does have some range of motion in his appendages. I mean, it all depends. And it all depends on uh, which level that you are, a level of height you're seeing your predicting at. So it kind of depends on that. But you all can can keep adjusting the, the the length of the the legs if you want to um, move them forward and back. But yeah, that's it. That's about it, um, folks. Um, for that, I'm not going to combine them into like the final video to get all five of them together. So, yeah. So, uh, stay tuned for that. Keep watching and subscribe as we embark on this journey of having a third-party printer king. Um, and just to get a little size comparison of this um, torso, let's bring back out Warden. So, his um, torso is taller than water. So, uh, yeah, thank y'all for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more reviews. I got more figures to review. A whole bunch of figures to review. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe. See y'all later. Peace.